I like it when it rains in the game. Maybe because, like, rain is just something that I don't get to experience as a Californian. So, this is, this is my way of experiencing rain, is through, through video games. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's up. Hi. Hey, I'm Amiya-kun. Good evening. I wanted to talk to you, but since we have the time, do you want to go play billiards together? It's not that difficult, and we can chat and play at the same time. How about it? I'm glad I asked. I was a little worried you'd turn me down. Well then, let's get going. That is I good to hear. Are you gonna let me talk, or what? I found myself with some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play against. D, uh, you always seem so busy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm, s I'm not busy all the time either. If anything, it's my policy to spend my spare time in meaningful ways. Now, let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? Okay, the booty shot. Game trying to turn me on, it's working! What's going on? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my apologies. A break ace. Um... Yeah, did he win? I don't know. Uh, hmm, <clears throat> let's play it cool. Uh, not bad. Hmm, but uh... I'm gonna become one of his fangirls. Where do you sign me up? I mean, the like, the hair is what drew me in, and then <laughs> not bad. Hmm. <clears throat> if I do say so myself, it was just a coincidence. Of course, this game won't count. Let's start over. Hmm. Ooh, bad move on my part. If you get this next one, I'm in trouble. All right, let's show him how it's done, Joker. Oh my god, we are so good. Not bad. Everything's riding on your next shot, though. How will you handle this? Um... <gasps> fucking... Power shot! Well, let's see your skills. Boom! There was an earthquake. Did you guys feel that? It moved my ball out of position. All right, well, that was a fluke. I used too much force, it bounced off the cushions. I win. That was a close one though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose as your senior, huh? Something seems off. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition? Haha, <laughs> kidding of course. Oh, my apologies. A break ace. Wait, what is off? Okay. Remember guys, no spoilers. Joker's sensing something that I'm not picking up on. Is something the matter? Use your right hand. Oh, he's ambidextrous, maybe. I now I want to go back and rewatch those scenes. Oh well. Aren't you left-handed? Huh? That's not bad. I'm honestly impressed you noticed. That's right. This one's my dominant hand. I switched hands during the game. It's not anything against you. Going all out against a junior just seems a bit gosh. But I confess, you've surprised me. I'm rather dexterous with my right hand. I can even use chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. I see a lot of things. Says Joker. Not me, but I'm sure Joker sees a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so those glasses are just for the aesthetic then? Or were you being metaphorical? You're a hard one to read sometimes. Uh, same to you, buddy. In any case, you're truly interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. You can sense- I can sense his appreciation. Ooh, Sleuthing Instinct. Chance to reveal one enemy affinity at the start of battle. 
Oh, sweet. All right. That sounds really good. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything I have. You have my word. Hey, thanks for coming along today. Our little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Barely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. I think you'd be an interesting influence on me. If you're so inclined, we could go out again sometime. Sure. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'm honored. Well, I suppose I'll reach out the next time something comes up. See you. Ah, if I said as rivals, I wonder if he would have if I would have gotten a note or two on that one. So, we meet again. But my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Well, not that I have any inside information or anything, but probably a criminal. Why? No reason. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. Who is it? Kiryu and Majima in the next door booth? We're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. Well, it matters to her. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking the law. <laughs> Breaking the world, Kowase. <laughs> oh boy. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but. This is like a really expensive. This gotta be a pretty expensive discussion. Like, they're not even using the time for karaoke, and I'm sure it's not cheap. That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Guys, have I mentioned just how beautiful Yusuke's eyes are? They get money from the palaces. I mean, that's true. Technically, gameplay-wise, we do have a lot of money, but I feel like in the context of the story, they're still just broke students. Okay, who has what we need? <laughs> Someone think for me. I'm tired of this leader stuff. <laughs> um... What about the media? How could we use the media? Oh, that that one reporter chick. That's right. What about that journalist? Ding ding ding. 
you mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? We keep running into her. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about her. Oh, yeah. Didn't she give you her card? The business card says Ichiko Oya of Mayasa Newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. I don't know why I keep yawning. Probably because I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. How wasteful. Oh, the nerve. <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. I mean, that's all I do. <sighs> the chief's as sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. On our recurring feature about dangers approaching the city, we examine how police have responded. The police stated that they are dedicating all their efforts to prevent more victims of the Mafia. However, they have failed to make good on that promise, and the public's unease has only grown. They're hurting a lot of people. I really wish we could find some sort of lead. Okay, let's, uh, let's do Sojiro. Yeah. Teach me how to make coffee. Well. Okay, today we're going to try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian. A medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're going to be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad. Though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more. I'm eager to learn. Oh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans, got it? Next up is the curry. There's nothing special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste. There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop after all. self satisfic Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. <clears throat> Haven't I told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> if you're not buy planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... It looks like Sojiro's in trouble. What should I do? Uh, let's call his phone. He definitely won't see us pulling our phone out. Oh, that's the social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Yes, it worked. Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? 
I guess I should explain what's going on. Yes, I've been wondering. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. Batman is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. Uh-huh. I'm awesome. I have LeBlanc Curry. Allows you to make curry that slightly restores the SP of all allies. Oh, all right. wow. Now I can make coffee and curry. Still, why do you poke around in other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? It's that time already? <sighs> I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Oh. Uh, never mind that. He was her! Now then. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. Oh, my kindness is growing. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. We need level three of our kindness, so that's good. Hey, Ren. Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. I probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing. Get on with the job. Got it? Understood. Whatever you say. Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this. Later. Makoto? I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of such a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. They're unforgivable. Yurus and I. It's Saturday, the sun's shining. I saw a rainbow. Did you guys see the rainbow? Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more pre precise, it's 10 days. We ain't even gonna have much time even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must also consider what to do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Okay, Ryuji, you're one to talk. <laughs> you're one to talk, buddy. Nijima-senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. <gasps> yeah, I kind of already did threaten him. 
<laughs> but it was fun. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> Lakoto's your favorite? So far, what's her name is my favorite, but it's kind of, it's really early for me to tell, you know? But so far, Yoshizawa. Yusuke. Hello. I came to see you. <laughs> May I get a word in? I do have to, wait, maybe I can do it. Let's talk. Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Ren, what should I paint to capture the con contents of the heart? Um... Mementos would be good. That's like the heart of everybody. I don't think a dream world... I'm gonna go with Mementos. Although, probably not the right answer. It makes sense to me. Ah, oh, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Well, never thought my social link would oh. take me to Mementos. But I get to see Yusuke with his foxtail, so... I'm not complaining. <laughs> This distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I have so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world came, became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only served to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. What? There's no option that wasn't... Yusuke is being possessed by a lark scene. Wasn't the other option hurry it up? I was trying not to rush him. Stupid game giving me stupid options. Hmm. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Inspiration has struck. <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> Evil sounding cackle there, Yusuke. You all right? That must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, my heart races. Oh, shit. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Are we actually fighting? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What were these guys, uh... How do I play again? Analyze. Oh, God. Analyze. Weak to fire. Weak to win. 
All right. Let me show you how it's done. Oh. Don't fuck with an artist when he's in the zone. <laughs> Seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you are here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. Theo? Okay, let's pretend we're, we know what he's talking about when he says Theo, because honestly, I have no idea. You caught me. I worry that you may not get what I mean. It was a figure of speech. <laughs> he saw through my lies. <laughs> Was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I, uh, that's what I, I got. That's what I thought you meant. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to say thanks. I think he's getting a little irked with us here. <laughs> um, an admirer? Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's the blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Go for it. <laughs> Impossible. What? Hmm. Is he okay? A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of. What did you do? Recarm. Oh! I'm trying to remember what that is. Is that like a some sort of revive or something? My picture. Turn into a real skill card? That's an amazing power! Indeed. Yusuke! Oh, it is a revive, okay. Yusuke, you're so talented. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the Thebes we are and strike a deal? It's a deal. Great. I promise your returns will be well worth your cooperation. I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. Uh-oh. Here we go. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings. Replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Just some doodles. Completely harmless. I am thou. Thou art I. It shall become the wings of rebellion that with the birth of the Emperor persona. The Emperor persona. That's right! That's my Yusuke! Allows Yusuke to duplicate skill cards. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. Okay. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance. Uh, Starting over. <laughs> Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You need only ask. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Huh. For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. Yay! 
Farewell. I was an artist once. Not so much anymore. The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Sounds good to me. That's the spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. You're the one who's freaking me out, Morgana. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Ren will go, okay? Got it. If Ren's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Yusuke Wait, always are you broke. gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Okay, mom. How much is the train fare? Wasn't like eight hundred. Your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this T-shirt over it. Looking good. That's not the issue! <laughs> Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is it really that dangerous to be walking around in Is uniform? Is this really going to be okay? We don't have a choice, we're here. Yeah. Alright, let's head to Shinjuku. A new travel destination. A hot spot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Bar is open to minors. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you are welcome to sit and chat. Alright. Hey! Shinjuku's outside of the area where Kimura Pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Oh, it's 160. Not even that much. How broke is you is uh Yusuke? God damn. Whoa, even at night this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey! Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa! I, I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads bar is up ahead, right? Right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Hello. Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all you can drink booze on the cheap? Uh, do I look like I'm old enough? Wait, you underage? Is that a problem? Huh, so you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. The hell? Tch, you're the one who was all wanting to talk to us. Hey man, you wanna come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. We have the cutest girls in town, too. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just ask that? You're the one who was getting all excited about a maid, Ryuji. Don't act like you're not interested. <sighs> just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. This planning <sighs> place ain't crossroads. But... It's got an invitation just for me. Look at them legs that rival Takemi's almost. Although no one can can beat Takemi. You have a moment? Uh, nope. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm a college student. Should we lie? Maybe we should just tell the truth. I'm a high schooler. I'm old enough. Hey, wait! <laughs> we uh, graduated a long time ago. Well, we're adults, you know. Says the guy in the frickin' school uniform. I mean, come on. 
Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? No, it's just a coincidence. Shit. Shit. Now you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Is it a crime? Is is it a crime to be out? I mean... Jeez, Japan stinks. Let's run! Run? That's even wor How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. It's your fault, Mr. No Mo Rules. I excuse me. What's this? For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. You have to have women in your life to have women troubles. It's probably something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. Ryuji, you should believe it because this is a video game. I see. My apologies. Meaning it's probably true. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. She has a portrait, so I feel like she's a future confidant that we can get. Crossroads. Whoa, man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Miners are allowed. There's a snail on the sign. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? I mean, if you go in, you're not with me. Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Stay out of sight, okay? Welcome, welcome. La La Escargo. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala Chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Water? I can't even get some orange Ugh, juice. She reeks of booze. How about some Sunny D? <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! She's already had a few, huh? She's a big spender. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Who controls Shibuya? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Not such a fun conversation after all, is it? Why that? <laughs> She's like, that's no fun. Let's talk about something else. I need intel on their boss. So make it snappy. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... No but. Just tell me. The Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I might know a little something about them. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Oh, she wants to trade info. Why are you asking me? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? 
Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Huh. So we're just gonna use... We're just gonna use Mishima? Oh. Well, guess we're just gonna use Mishima. Shit. So, Mishima, how much do you actually love the Phantom Thieves? What would you do for the Phantom Thieves? How about talking to some creepy drunk reporter about your uh, traumatic experience? I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. But I can't promise that he's going to say anything to you. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. I haven't even touched my water, but okay. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. You should leave right after you finish your water. <laughs> At least give the boy some milk. <laughs> yes! Alright! We did it! We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. He needs some milk. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome! Anyway, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's that kind of open area you pass on your way to the bar. Gosh, Ryuji, you do stand out a lot, though. Hey! Hey, I'm tired of waiting. You got any dirt on our next target? For real? Ryuji! Don't yell it out so loud! Gosh. <laughs> Ryuji's got a big mouth. For real? <laughs> Junior Kaneshiro? Hey! Not so loud! <laughs> exactly! Shush! Junior Kaneshiro. And enter! Alright! There we go! Okay, now we gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time! Wait! Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude! <laughs> this is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He really would be a natural. But a graphic tee with plaid paint pants? Ugh, kill me now. Whoa! Who the hell are they? Okay, uh, time to run. Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. Wait, who told you guys that Ryuji was into the drag scene? You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're cur curious, we'll help you look divine. Oh, because the owner is maybe a cross dress? A cross dress? Cross roads? I don't know. Whoa. Wait, hey! 
it's not like that. Dude, help! Tell them we were just investigating or something. Knock them dead. <laughs> oh, I just love screwing Ryuji over. It's so fun. You just gonna leave me here like this? Come on! Your best friend's in trouble here! Hey, my best friend's a cat. Oh, honey. You've got the... Sh Shut's paw? Shut... Shut's... Shut's paw? I don't know. I'm not even going to attempt it. And those cheekbones. I love it! That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights. And I know just the dress for you. <gasps> Are we... Is this really happening? Oh my god, I have to see this. Oh my god, yes. Please, put him in a dress! Put him in a dress! Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling. Or at least makes that alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. No, I gotta see... We're just gonna leave him? Oh my god... Worst friends ever! Did you find any clues? No, but Ryuji got kidnapped and then I went home. <laughs> what the hell? We just left him. We're never gonna see him again. <laughs> Joker, I cannot believe you just left him. <laughs> oh god <laughs> we left our best friend he got kidnapped <laughs> I have a name you did it yeah we had to sacrifice uh, Ryuji well let's hope he lives to t I want to see him in a dress I wanted to see him in a dress well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Yeah, the three of us. I mean, the four of us. Me, you, Yusuke, and uh, Morgana. Understood. Ryuji seems to be... Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. Morgana, you're not worried. That was surprisingly easy. We're just gonna... There's... I am legitimately <sighs> upset about this. I am legitimately upset that we just left Ryuji with two strange men in Shinjuku at night. He's not answering his phone. He's not answering his texts. And we're just gonna go about our day. Like, like, like nothing's wrong. <sighs> okay. Try to put it out of her mind. Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? <gasps> Ryuji? Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, some girl messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute? Or is she hot? Uh, depends on if you're into older women. Uh, you'll see. Don't tease me. I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Oh, yes, son. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Wait, are we are we literally... Are we literally gonna not tell him anything? Okay, Joker is starting to, like... I'm getting mad at Joker right now. I'm getting mad at Joker. <laughs> First, we gave him the number. Or we gave her his number without asking Mishima if he was okay with it. 
and then we didn't even give him the heads up. And now, even when he's texting us, we're just like egging it on, pretending that she's actually interested in him. This is gonna like ruin him. Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? <sighs> Tell him! He thinks he's gonna get like a, you know, he's gonna get a hold hands with a girl, but instead he just has to relive his traumatic abuse. You'll find out. Man, I am so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduce me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up ho hooking up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this angry at a... at a Persona game. You thought this was funny when you played the game, but you're making... Me, I'm making you reconsider it? It's... It's so bad! It's so bad! Oh, I can't go out. We can't go out and save Ryuji? Then I wanted to, um, make some lockpicks. Sweet. Oh, I didn't watch the TV. Oh well. It's fine. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday! <laughs> Ryuji, you're I alive! I a world I want nothing to do with! <laughs> Ryuji, I'm sorry! The game made me do it! <laughs> I would never do that to you! Oh my gosh, and be looking pretty good though! On, I like your outfit! Ugh, I like Ryuji's outfit too. It's nice when he's not wearing his, those uh, freaking uniform pants. See, he's fine, but he could have been totally not fine. He could have been in some sort of sex trafficking. He could have gotten sexually assaulted. He he could have gotten kidnapped. Like he could be in some kind of weird sex dungeon right now. I mean, come on. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna calm down now. I'm gonna try. What are you talking about? Nothing! Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Can you? A bank, a mansion, a... Well, we could try money bath again, because I ain't got any better ideas. A bank... Mansion is what I was trying to guess when we were doing, um... What's Matarame's? I think a bank, though, because he's really into money. I'm gonna go with bank. Someone else probably in a mansion somewhere. I don't think it's this guy, though. I see. Ah. Okay, that's a hit. Bingo! So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? It's probably not an actual bank, though. Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? Um... The place where he makes his drugs? Does he make them? Does he have like a... Is he doing like some Breaking Bad kind of stuff? If 
we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. We are getting somewhere. We found out it's a bank, Ryuji. Just calm down. We're, we're thinking. I'm going to send you back to Shin, uh, Shinjuku. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Um... Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Isn't that a bank? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. All of Shibuya is his bank. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Hey, Hexdrell, how's it going? Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? <laughs> For once, Ryuji. The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. Are you calling me trash? <laughs> In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. I still think we shouldn't do it in front of all the- Like, these guys are so careless. What are those? What are those? <laughs> ATM. Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. He just views everybody as just money that he can get. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. This is very interesting. Is the whole, um, ATM human? <laughs> this is terrible. Just what happened to him? Hey! Look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh... Uh, do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me, can we... Up, oh, please forgive me. What happened? I don't have any more. Please, I'm telling you, not even one yen! Come on, man. Whoa, cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Oh, man. This is terrible. Perhaps. Are those... No. This is terrible. 
All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Damn it. Are all these guys Kaneshiro's victims? That would appear to be the case. But there is nobody we can speak to, let alone a bank anywhere. Joker. Alright. Uh, we overlooked something. Okay. What did we miss? I mean, I was trying to look, but it wouldn't let me go anywhere. Try this guy again. Oh, that's a new guy. Wait. Oh, look. Do you think that person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me. Can we have a word? We are... It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Can't you tell? I've fallen. So far. From a place where Kanashiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? Hmm. What could that mean? Hey, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> it doesn't look like this one's going to say anything. Kanashiro leaves no tracks? Does that mean... Does he mean that literally? Or could it be figurative? Hey. Hey, why don't we go over all the intel we have now? Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second. They've fallen from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks? Uh, the sky? Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere up high? Uh... What, you mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here, I don't think. No, wait! What's that? Oh! Uh, is that, is that a freaking UFO? It's a... Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Hello? What the hell is this? Does he have a fl floating mansion or is that a floating bank? Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures that it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Ryuji, that's very mean. Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! <laughs> I'm not even a cat! <sighs> this may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Ugh, it's always tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. All right, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! I feel like with all the tomorrows we've had, it's already damn near been two weeks. I have a new message message from Oya. Uh-oh. Did she talk to Mishima? Evening! It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Uh... Sure. Yeah. Alright, I have a bit of advice for you. It's about that Kaneshiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections... He's not a te someone a teenager like you should mess with. You, you should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See you. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. 